letters. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. A mailbag situation from Playhouse family member Jordan, who says, I've been married for three years, and I feel like things are fine. Fine, fine is bolded for what that's worth. But I keep daydreaming and fantasizing about one of my exes. Not even in an I miss him way, just lusting, I guess, daydreaming. I'll poke around on his social media. Even though we don't speak, I feel oddly connected to him because I look so often. I feel like we speak. It's even fun to pretend sometimes that my husband is him. Is this a major red flag or is this typical? I think it could be a red flag if you're going to act on it. But maybe you need to do something with your husband. Do something fun and exciting. Don't be thinking about your ex. That's not good. Clearly something's lacking there that you feel like you need to do that. It's, you know, once in a blue moon, your mind wanders. Or once in a blue moon, you creep on somebody's social media. Like there's things that, you know, if, if everybody's goes, I wonder what so-and-so is doing and looks them up on Facebook or whatever the case might be, Instagram. But the fact that you're like, you feel like you interact with this person because you're on his Facebook so much that you're like, today I'm pretending that my husband is Carl. I think maybe that it's getting into red flag territory. You know who it reminds me of? Uh, Joe from you. Kind of, yeah, a little bit. Where you like, is fantasizing? He's with these women? You're turning into Joe. You don't want to be Joe Goldberg. No! Yeah, it it feels a little red flag. You might want to look at your relationship just a bit. I think, yeah, maybe what's going on with you and your husband, do something. Take a weekend trip if you can. If you can't afford that right now, do something fun you guys would like. I don't even know. What what. kind of fun activity could they do together, Amy? You already know what I'm going to say. I do know what you're going to say. Cooking classes. (laughs) Valentine's Day is coming up. You can just go out and have some drinks. That's also an option. Good morning. Um, no, not at all. Everybody is about, you know, good times that they had in the past and, and old flames. It has nothing to do with wanting to either get back together with them or not loving the one that you're with. It's just you're human and, you know, you like to think about the past. And if it was good, um, those are great memories. So I don't think there's a problem with that. You don't think it's a red flag for her current relationship. Her marriage is okay in your mind based off what we know. Yeah, I think so. I mean, unless you're single and you're thinking about him, go get him. <laughs> two, three, seven. It's text three, five, two, seven, zero. Is this a red flag? What do you see in there, ABK? Fantasize about the X. Someone did say, yes, it's a red flag because you're doing it so much. You feel connected with them, constantly checking their social media. How do you feel if your partner was doing this to you? Put yourself in their shoes. This is definitely a red flag and something you need to talk to about or with your spouse about. Is this a major red flag that she's thinking about the ex has feelings for him? Is she uh, Okay, so she's stalking her exes on Facebook? Yeah, and other stuff. Everyone does that. It, it just means that you're human, but she shouldn't go through with it. I mean, lots of marriages have broken up that way. I know someone whose 60-year-old mother reconnected with someone on LinkedIn, which is not a sexy site, no. and broke up her marriage of, you know, like 40 years standing and destroyed her family. You're like, it's normal to creep, but keep it a creeping. So it's normal, but don't act on it. Yeah, honestly, I think for the most part, Jordan, we're getting a whole lot of like, this is it's become a red flag because of how deep you're going. Mm-hmm. And maybe just, you know, look at what's going on in that relationship. Like, why? What's lacking? Something's lacking, man. And maybe block your ex so you stop. You don't have that temptation. Probably not a bad idea. You just stop looking. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's... Do you, do you want to be back with a guy? Like That's one thing. Go have a conversation, but maybe like leave your husband first. Yeah, I think that would be yeah. a good idea to leave the husband. There's like an order you do things, you know? Mm-hmm. There's an order. You're going the wrong order, man. The number one hit music station. Why 94.5.